And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Rajasaurus, which was a request from Cole via Patreon. So thanks, Cole. The name means princely lizard, and it was in a Belosaurian theropod with an unusual head crest. They found a partial skeleton, part of the skull, backbone, hip bones, parts of the hind legs, and, and tail, and was described in August of 2003, but it was discovered by Suresh Srivastava of the Geological Survey of India between 1982 and 1984. It was excavated in the Kedah district of Gujarat, India. And in 1981, workers from a cement quarry showed geologists Duvedi and Mahobe ball-like structures that they'd found, which were dinosaur eggs, and beneath the eggs were fossils. And so between 1982 and 1984, Suresh Srivastava collected fossil fragments and worked on cleaning the bones with Mathur and Pant, then Nothing really happened for a few years, but they created this detailed map. Then in 2001, Sarano and Wilson started to reconstruct those bones and then formally described Rajasaurus in 2003. They had found the bones in the Geological Survey of India Museum and didn't realize its significance at first, which this seems to happen a lot. However, <laughs> fossils described in 1923 may also belong to Rajasaurus. Charles Matley collected bones between 1917 and 1919, and at first, in 1921, he thought that all the bones he found were from a single specimen of a new theropod, though the ilia and sacrum were found in close approximation. Then in 1923, Matley interpreted some of these bones as part of a new stegosaur named Lametosaurus indicus. However, no stegosaur bones found in India shared derived characters with it, so in 1935, Chakravarti suggested that the ilia and sacrum, which are now lost, unfortunately, were part of a theropod. It's unclear if the scutes are part of it, because they had found scutes along with the ilia, sacrum, and tibia, but they could also be part of titanosaurs that were found nearby. The type species of Rajasaurus is Rajasaurus narmadensis, and the species name means from the Narmada Valley. The Narmada River, where it was found, has also yielded other dinosaur bones, some found in the late 1800s, including Titanosaurus indicus. Rajasaurus has only been found in India, and at the time that it lived, India had recently moved away from Gondwana and started moving north. Rajasaurus is the first theropod found in India with preserved cranial and postcranial remains, part of the skull, which means that it can help scientists learn more about how abelosaurs evolved, since specimens described from India previously were mostly isolated bones. Rajasaurus is similar to other abelosaurids, including Majungasaurus from Madagascar and Carnotaurus from South America. They had a common ancestor. Compared to Tyrannosaurs, who dominated northern continents and lost ornamental structures on their heads, abelosaurus, like Rajasaurus, had more skull ornamentation as they became more advanced. Rajasaurus was found in the Lameda Formation, which have volcanic rocks, Deccan traps. So Rajasaurus and other sauropods from there were buried quickly by Deccan volcanic flows. Rajasaurus was about 25 to 29 and a half feet or 7.6 to 9 meters long, it had a low, rounded horn, which grew from its nasal bones, which was similar to Majungasaurus. And you can see a life-size fiberglass model of Rajasaurus at the Geological Survey of India's Lucknow Regional Office. In Adlab's Imajika, India, there's a Jurassic Ride Rajasaurus River Adventure, which is similar to the Jurassic Park ride at Universal. You can also see Rajasaurus in the game Jurassic Park Builder. You can acquire it in tournament mode, speaking of mobile games. Yep. And you can see Raja in Aladdin. That's not the same at all. <laughs> I think it's probably based on the same Latin root, though, right? Prince makes sense. <laughs> anyway, so Rajasaurus was an abelosaurid, and abelosauridae means Abel's lizards. They are clad of ceratosaurian theropods that lived in the Jurassic and Cretaceous in Gondwana, which is Africa, South America, India, and Madagascar. Jose Bonaparte and Fernando Novas named Abelosauridae in 1985 when they described Abelosaurus, when they named that after Roberto Abel, who discovered Abelosaurus. They're bipedal and carnivorous, and they had short hind limbs and ornamentation on the skull bones. The skulls were generally tall and shallow, and they had four digits on their hands. They're also part of the group Ceratosaurus, which include 
Limosaurus and Ceratosaurus, and they had short arms in the Jurassic like Abelosaurus. 